Happy New Year. New Year is a beautiful time to reflect on who you want to be and what you want to do. And uh, you want to share five ideas that I've got from my year planning process that I hope can support you. And if you're new to the channel, hi, welcome. My name is George. I am a human exploring ancient ideas and practices to see if I can find a bit more balance and peace. I teach Tai Chi. Over the last eight years, I've been bringing you on the journey, supporting each other on the voyage towards a bit more harmony, a bit more peace and balance. So here's a five part process for making next year a beautiful year. Step one is having an intention, a direction of where you want to go. The Taoists have a phrase, Yi Dao Chi Dao, where the intention goes, the energy flows. I used to think manifestation was a spiritual cliche and would activate my woo 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 alarm. But for me, I'm totally in it. You know, we've got to have some idea of where we want to go and get clear with that. So you having some reflections on that and holding that intention with the appropriate flexibility is inevitably we change and the world changes. And also just a caveat on why are we setting these goals? Is it because we want to become successful and to fix ourselves and to become better? If that is the case, then I would argue they're not very empowering intentions because if we want to be successful, then right now we've defined ourselves as unsuccessful, that there's something lacking, something needing to be fixed. A more empowering approach is to think about growth. Where I am right now is enough, even with all the challenges and all the flaws, and here's how I want to grow next year, and that's where I want to go. And yeah, maybe next year will pan out differently to how I imagine now, but at least that intention gives me a bit of clarity of where to direct my energy. Stage two is then, looking at ourselves holistically. So this is on the screen right now called a wheel of life, splitting your life into many different areas because you are a complex being. We are complex beings with all these different needs, a need to play and to have fun, a spiritual need for connection then service, which I see as my work rather than work being about my own success is about service to life. Service feels good, whether it's big or small. So that's an empowering way of thinking about our work. And then finances are still important. Finances for me has been a big challenge. And so that's one of my intentions is to get security, that financial stability, which is really important as well. Then relationships, romantic, friendship, family. Romantic relationships are still something I'm working on. That's my growth for next year. If you do an audit in all these different areas, seeing where am I now and where would I like to be? Where's the opportunity? then maybe setting some goals in each of these areas. How can I achieve that? This is a beautiful process to get a lot of clarity over where the opportunities are for you next year. I've also got a PDF version of that Wheel of Life if you want to download it and print it off. And as I've been recording this, there's also the body as well. Such a crucial area to think about in what we want to be doing. Our body and our energy, our breath, our exercise, our diet, they are all foundations for our energy, our wellness, and the things that we want to do in our lives. A quick shout out to Master Gu's online Tai Chi Academy, which is a really beautiful way for you to raise your energy through learning the healing practices of meditation, Tai Chi, Qigong, Taoist philosophy. And there's an awesome 1000 person community where you can learn with other like-minded explorers from around the world online, wherever you are. Crucial step three is also to think about what not to do. Often in planning, we think about just here are the things that I want to do that actually just as crucial are what do I want to let go of? What isn't serving me anymore? And what about emptiness and non-doing? Often we think, well, I need to be planning to do all this stuff, but can we actually trust the power of emptiness and space, which can be creative? Like the air in which we move is the creative space within which life happens. We create a bit more space in our lives, then that can be a creative time and space for us too. And step number four is then reducing down. It's awesome to have all these different intentions and things you want to do, but we can't do all of them at the same time. So what are the three big things that you could do next year to grow and make your life more enjoyable and flourishing so you can be of service to your loved ones, community, and ultimately the planet? Focus and prioritization can then help unlock a lot of that. If we spread ourselves too thinly, we might exhaust ourselves. We can always come to those things in a future year, maybe just focusing on three. So what could be three big things that you want to focus on this year? What are gonna be the most penetrating things to achieve that can maybe unlock the rest of the things that you want to do. All right, step number five is to then plan. How can you break down these things that you want to do? You've reduced, <laughs> you've reduced your, the things that you want to do into three main things or maybe less, maybe a bit more, and now a plan. So milestones, how can you break down these 
goals into maybe skills that you can develop and how can you break those skills into milestones where you can check your progress? How can you break it down into weekly or daily practices? So practice is the path to help remember that and to build the skills. And with the planning, remembering there can be seasons to this plan as well. Maybe for three months, you're focusing on one particular skill. The next three months, another particular skill. Not overloading ourselves is too much to start with. Even if you were to form one new habit every two weeks over a year, that would be huge. That would be however many habits, 25 habits. <laughs> the journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. So start small, keep stepping, step by step, piece by piece, part by part, breath by breath. Change is possible. You have great potential, my friends. A great potential for peace and for harmony and for flourishing and for service. And if we don't feel these things right now, how do we get there? Step by step, piece by piece. And again, a beautiful way that you can raise your energy is Master Gu's Taoist Wellness Academy. You can learn the ancient healing arts of Tai Chi and Qigong and meditation and Taoist philosophy with a thousand students in the community. And just for the next week, we are offering a 15% discount to help you springboard into this beautiful year with some energy. So if you want to try, we have a free seven day trial that supports my work and my team. We've got 10 team members now and we're so passionate about serving you in whatever way we can because we are the change, my friends. Let us support each other on our personal and collective voyage towards a more peaceful and harmonious life. You've got this, my friends. May your next year be one in which you flow in all the things that you want to do and the person that you are and the being that you are. Play well, my friends.